Hey girly, welcome to my video. If you're new, my name is Emily and I create makeup tutorials and I do videos like these. So if you clicked in this video, it's obviously because you want to learn how to make a YouTube channel based on makeup, but you don't know how. I'm gonna show you my experience, my strategies, and what I did to make a YouTube channel. So the first step that you want to do is find your niche. I know everybody says it. Yes, I know, but it's actually a thing. So if you like makeup, you have to know what you're good at when it comes to makeup. Are you good at skincare? Do you know a lot about skincare or are you good at eyeshadow? I do eyeshadow. If you're good at eyeshadow, stick to that. If you're good at contouring, stick to that. If you're good at dramatic makeup or if you're good at drag makeup, whatever it is that you're good at, stick to that. I know that it's gonna be scary when you post your first YouTube video and that's totally fine. Not all of us have the confidence to go in front of a camera, so practice, practice, practice. Every single day you have to practice talking in front of a camera so you get more comfortable and you get used to it and it'll be a lot easier for your tutorials or whatever it is you're gonna be doing with the makeup. The second thing you wanna do is be consistent. Everybody talks about this, but it's true and it's a thing and there's a reason why everybody says it. Be consistent, post one video a week if that's what you're going for or if you have the time, post two, three, four times a week as many as you can and post at the same time every week. That's gonna help the YouTube algorithm work with you and they're gonna share your content everywhere. So the more consistent you are, the better it is. So the third thing you're gonna need is equipment. Obviously, if you're gonna be doing makeup, you need bright lights, you need quality in your videos. So I recommend use a ring light. Right now, I'm just using natural lighting, my window's open, and I have a ring light, so you need something like that. To start, it's good. Or soft boxes work as well. If this video was very dark and ugly, you would not be watching this far. Yeah, the quality matters a lot. You need a good mirror, you need a good camera, or even your iPhone works. I use my iPhone sometimes. You need good quality or people are not gonna be into your videos. Right now, the light, ignore my big old ears. <laughs> By the way, this used to be one of my biggest insecurities growing up, but now I'm learning to work with them and it's totally fine. What? You guys can make fun of my big ass ears. Now, the fourth thing is gonna be products, makeup. Yes, makeup. Let's be honest. You need to invest. Invest in good product and what's new because that's what people want to see. People want to see reviews, people want to see makeup looks, what can they do with this or that. You need to be able to buy quality makeup that's really good and that looks good because that's what people are interested in. And if you're just doing reviews, that's a different story. You show them if it's good quality or not, right? So that's another thing, you need to invest in products because people want to see now the fifth thing here is the titles of your videos you have to do searchable content yes searchable content so let's say for example you bought the new morphe by jacqueline hill volume 2 palette what are you gonna do with your title when you make a tutorial with that so what how do how will we title that something that everybody's gonna be searching and it's gonna get you views here on youtube because views are very important so what are we gonna type? We're gonna type Morphe by Jacqueline Hill Volume 2 palette because that's what people search up when they want to find a tutorial with it or they want to find a review. So you type that and now if you want to like put a slash in the middle of that and write something else on the side, like three looks with one palette, that helps you because a lot of people search things up like that or a lot of people like to see a video of three different makeup looks with one palette because they're like, ooh, like I'm gonna recreate this or I wanna learn how to make this. They're gonna look through each one of those looks and be like, oh, this is nice. Regardless of what it is, they're gonna comment like, subscribe, which is good, that's what we want. We want subscriptions. We want people to subscribe onto your channel. So if you have a really good title on your video, you're gonna get a lot of subscribers, you're gonna get likes and comments, and that's what you want. Okay, now number six. This is very important. Focus on what value you're giving to your viewers rather than yourself. Focus on your people, not on you. Nobody wants to see your first video if it's a get ready with me because they don't know you. They. Sorry if this offends anybody, but 
nobody really cares about you in the beginning. People are very selfish, like they only care about themselves. So they want to watch something that's going to help them in any sort of way or anything that has to do with them. So if you're making a makeup video, you have to make it about your viewers, not about you like I am right now. I'm teaching you how to do this. You're, this is important, that's why you're watching it because you want to make a makeup video on YouTube but you don't know how to start. So this is a big tip that I'm giving you, girl. So pay attention. Focus on your makeup video. Focus on your tutorial. Whatever it is you're creating that has to do with makeup, focus on that and teach the other person how to do it. Let them know what you're doing. Let them know what product you're using. Let them know because this is for them, not for you. Nobody cares about who you are right now. No, you can do those videos later on, but nobody cares about who you are. Okay, and the final one is monetization. Yes, that paper, monetization, Google AdSense. If you reach the requirements that it takes on YouTube to start getting paid, you start to make money. And that's what we all want eventually, right? I mean, people always tell you, don't do it for the money, do it for the money. Yeah, I know, we get it, yeah. But monetization is still important because you're investing in these things. Like, you want to get some coins too. So, you sign up with Google AdSense and when you qualify for this, you start to get paid. When you reach 1,000 subscribers and you reach 4,000 hours, you start to get paid. Nobody makes the same amount of money for their videos and I can go more in depth with that. If you guys leave me a comment down below and let me know that you guys want more monetization information. So once you reach the requirements and you have your 1,000 subscribers and you have 4,000 hours, hours, then you can start getting paid. And that's what we want, right? And I'm almost there. So yeah, girly, that is the seven steps that you need to follow to start a makeup YouTube channel in 2020. Comment the word down below, oranges. Comment oranges to let me know that you watched the whole thing and you enjoyed this video because it helps my video. So yeah, girly, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys want me to create more videos like these and also if you want to learn something specific so I can create this video for you. And yeah, that is the end of this video. Those were the seven steps that I taught you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.